If you want to see me do the A to Z book tag, then stick around. Hey, what's going on, BookTube on YouTube? I'm C. Tina, and welcome to my channel. I make bookish videos for bookworms, so consider subscribing and clicking the bell notification for more bookish videos. So it's been so long since I've done a book tag, I don't can't even remember which one I did last. But anyway, I was really excited to see this one and I looked at the questions and I think it's something that I can pretty much do. So I was excited to start, so this is the A to Z book tag. Author you've read the most books from. That would have to be Colleen Hoover. I think I've read like three or four of her books. Best sequel ever, and I gotta say, that has to be A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Maas, which is the second book in the series of A Court of Thorns and Roses. Currently reading. So, let me share with you really quick the books that I'm currently reading. And I'm reading Howard Stern Comes Again. I'm also reading... <laughs> Yeah, I said also Descendants of the Crane. Also reading the expiration date. As well as The Dark Restarter by Sean McMahon. Awesome book, by the way. All of these, I'm enjoying all of them. So, yeah. Drink of choice while reading. I don't really drink and read because I probably end up falling asleep. But if I could, I would probably be drinking wine. Specifically, luscious red wine. Oh, God, it's freaking delicious. Like, you could drink that whole bottle and not even think you're drinking wine until you're like super drunk. Crazy, I love that wine. E-reader or physical book? Now, this is kind of challenging for me to answer because I love both. Nothing like the feeling of a physical book, but I also like to have options of a whole bunch of different things to read without carrying my entire library. So, with that said, I'm gonna pick ebook, you know, an e reader, because I like to have my entire library and I like the variety as well. Fictional character you would probably dated in high school, that would have to be Reese from A Court of Mist and Fury and A Court of Thorns and Roses. I haven't read the third book yet in the series, so the answer could probably change soon. Glad you gave this book a chance. That would have to be Meet Me in Barcelona by Mary Carter, and it's right here. See the cover, it's, it's pretty, but it's not a cover that would specifically call out to me. This book was recommended by a really good friend of mine, but I'm really glad I read it. It's freaking awesome. A hidden gem book. A hidden gem book will have to be The Bad Guy by Celia Aaron. That is the best piece of smut literature I think I ever read in my life. Important moment in your reading life? Well, that would have to be when I first picked up and I started reading and I really enjoyed. It's called a book called The Crying of Night. It's the very first book that got me into reading and it's a book that I enjoyed. I was scared as hell reading this book and just the whole experience was exciting and amazing for me. And it, it also introduced me to the wonderful world of reading. Just finished. Well, the book I just finished today is actually Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered. It's a new release, I believe, and it's pretty good. Kinds of book you won't read. I really won't read too much sci-fi because I get lost in the terms. So if a book is too sciency, I probably won't be into it. The longest book I've read was this baby right here. It's by Stephen King. I started annotating in this book. But then the book was so long, I was just like, you know what, to hell with it. I'm just gonna listen to it on audio. Major book hangover. That would have to be from You by Carolyn Kepnes because I could not believe all of the things that Joe did in that book. I was straight tripping. Number of bookcases you own. I actually own only two bookcases. It's about time I get another one because I'm pretty much overflowing at the moment. One book you read multiple times. It will have to be A Cry in the Night. That's the first book I actually fell in love with. I read it twice, but that's the only book I've ever read twice. Preferred place to read, that will actually be my terrace, my balcony. That's really my preferred place to read. A quote that inspires you or gives you all the feels from a book. That will have to be by Colleen Hoover. She wrote, I love it when the sky makes me feel insignificant. And that was actually from the book, It Ends With Us. Reading Regret. 
I think all reading is an experience and I love reading, but there are some books that I just really wasn't feeling and that would be my reading regret. It would be My Best Friend's Exorcism and, yeah, there's another one, and Confessions of a Sociopath. Series you started and need to finish, all the books have already been released. It will have to be the Court of Thorns and Roses series. Unapologetic Fangirl. I would have to say it will be for Colleen Hoover. She's absolutely amazing. As well as Sarah J. Mass. Those two are my favorite authors. They're also my autobi authors. Very excited for this release more than any other book. It, I think this book has already been released, but it's called Five Midnights and it's about El Cuco, which is a mythical monster. And I think uh, Puerto Rican her heritage definitely has that El Cuco story. I don't know if any other Latin or any other cultures have El Cuco, but yeah, <laughs> I'm dying to read that one. Worst book habit is I read multiple books at once and it just makes it so challenging to finish a book. <laughs> X marks the spot. Start at the top left of your shelf and pick the 27th book. I've already done that. So the book that was the 27th is actually The Firestone Key. It's an indie book by Carolyn No. Your latest book purchase. My latest book purchase is actually the last book in the Court of Thorns and Roses series. And it is Court of Frost and Starlight. Can't wait to finish the freaking series. I need to really get into it. ZZZ Snatcher, a book that kept you up very late. And that will be one of the books that I'm reading right now, which is Descendants of the Crane. Good book, by the way. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to click like, subscribe, and share this video with others if you want. And I will catch you on my next video. Take care.